Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up a baggage system in Airport CEO. It's a bit of a complicated process and the tutorial is lacking a few important parts. There's also a few bugs that I've noticed that may or may not represent or present themselves in this video. So we're going to go with a brand new airport. I'm going to build it as quickly as possible and uh, we'll see how, how we get on. Uh, let's go for London. Uh, we'll go on easy, so we've got the cash. Okay, so I'm not going to teach you the ins and outs of everything. We're just going to go basically uh, as quickly through this as we can so that you guys can see it as quickly as you can. Anything that I think is worth mentioning along the way, I'll, I'll chuck in as well. But primarily, this is about baggage uh, configuration. So let's begin by getting a... Well, these guys will have to do. We'll get these contractors in. Not too worried about anything in particular right now. Uh, let's go... That'll do. I have a couple up here. Right, most important thing to start with, bus stops. This is how people arrive. Oh, most important thing. <laughs> Did I sign that? I think I signed that. I've already signed it, so go away. Get some people on, get some constructors on the, uh, on the site so they can build stuff. Right, okay, let's move on. Now, one very important thing with buses is that people can walk around it. So always remember to leave space for sidewalks and crosswalks, as they're called in this game. Now, you can never have too many bus stops. That's what I've discovered. Okay, something like that. Something like that. We're literally just going to rush through this, guys. And uh, sidewalk here. Oh, let's speed things up a bit. Sorry. Uh, sidewalk, sidewalk. Obviously, because I'm going so fast, I might make a few mistakes along the way, but I will fix those uh, promptly and uh, do what I can to assist you. Now, there's a few things that you're definitely going to need. We'll leave that tree. I like it. <coughs> Excuse me. A few things you're definitely going to need in order to uh, have a baggage system running. Uh, I'll probably put those together and have that at the beginning of the video just so you know bum 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 and then this video will show how that all goes together basically right okay so there's a bit of uh oh, okay delay because there's a lot of stuff coming in let's build ourselves a foundation let's do that oh i'm looking at the wrong looking at the wrong side sorry totally distracted Okay, now before we get into the building of anything, because that's going to take a few minutes, let's go and get our staff situation sorted out. Three things you need. Procurement Director, Strategy Director, and a COO. So you have to come in here to the board, which is this little icon here, under Committees. This is called Committees, that's called the board. Naming Conventions, I don't know, but that's where it is. Uh, and then we go for apt Applicants. Excuse me. <clears throat> now, you are going to need airport staff, so just grab a bunch of those. You are going to need security, so grab a bunch of those. You are going to need some janitors, not for this tutorial, but you are. And you are going to need some service technicians, so uh, just grab a bunch of those as well. Now, let's go down to the procurement director and hire any one of those, doesn't really matter who, for this tutorial. Same with the strategy, strategy director and the COO, Chief Operations Officer, I assume. Uh, one thing you're definitely going to need is ramp agents. Now, you need a minimum of four, but I recommend eight, possibly even more than that. So we're going to do that. By, by getting these employees in, 
uh, if I go back to the committees, you can see that we've hired these guys. So if I go to economy now and then procurement, you'll see that we've unlocked the ability to uh, unlock baggage handling service. It costs you $250,000. It's not cheap. It takes a long time to do. So we'll set that running whilst this is all being built and uh, we'll continue with the necessary points. So, la, 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 not a security checkpoint. What am I looking for here? A checkpoint. Now, a checkpoint is the area which allows a road to then attach to a service road. And you will need, most definitely, you will need these. So, uh, these are a requirement. The, ch uh, the checkpoint is actually, oh, sorry, the, yeah, the checkpoint is a requirement uh, to be able to use um, baggage handling. So, so there, so you need it. More sidewalk. One thing that I need to mention, I guess, is that these guys down here, these um, constructors, if you will, here are baggage handlers, by the way. Uh, these constructor people, the builders, can walk anywhere. They can walk on grass, road, through buildings, whatever. Oh, let's get a door quick before I forget. Otherwise, nobody's going to be getting in <coughs> or out, for that matter. So, uh, yes. Um... So you need to build a path in order for your baggage handlers to get to the baggage handling area, is basically the, uh, the situation here. Let's whack a couple of stands in, so that we can uh, host some aircraft, as it were. Just need to extend this out a tad, didn't build it far enough. Okay, uh, let's remove that wall that I'll have left. So there's a lot of development going on here. Let's, um, let's be proactive and uh, build a toilet area. The one cool thing about the toilets, well, I say cool, it's kind of a bit new age for my liking but um, it's like um, ah, I keep I forget the word I'm gonna say universal men and women can both use it so I know that's not the word I'm, I'm looking for but that's the way my brain is broken unfortunately there's not a lot I can do about it so for now we'll just settle for that um, so really and truly you only need one toilet uh, or bathroom as it's referred to here uh, now, interestingly, some people have um, spotted the room is too small alert, which pops up. So if I just remove that, delete the bathroom, and then put it in again, you'll see room is too small, but when you drag it full, it says legal position, that's fine. But as soon as you create it, it says room is too small again, which is confusing some people, but it's just, it's like a bug. It's more like a feature, but it's like a bug. It's nothing to worry about. Now this game does have a lot of bugs, uh, so you are going to find a few problems along the way. Uh, let's get a couple of urinals in here, which I'm sure the ladies will love. Not sure how they're going to use them, but that's up to them to figure out. And a trash can. Now, I know none of this is really necessary for the tutorial, but, uh, you know, whilst we're waiting for things to be built, I uh, just thought I built some stuff. So, uh, anyway, let's move on. Uh, so, up here we're going to have an info desk. Like that, right near the front. We'll have some screens so people can see what the heck is going on. Now, this is the next <coughs> essential thing if you want to have baggage handling is a uh, check-in desk. So my recommendation to you is to leave at least one gap between them. And I won't do it on the last one so that I can show you why. It gets very, can get very complicated if you don't. Uh, security checkpoints, again, this requires a secure area. So uh, let's go for the entirety of this space. Kablump. 
<coughs> excuse me, and then we can put uh, security checkpoints in. Now I recommend two big ones because, well, it doesn't take long to build your airport up, and uh, when it's when it starts getting busy, that is a choke point, really badly. Uh, secure a zone exit. This um, allows people getting off the planes to get out of the airport, which is also important. Now in this area here, we shall leave free so that we can put a baggage claim area in. Right, uh, boarding desk. This is required for the aircraft to be commercially viable. So we'll just pop these in over here somewhere. I'm completely guessing where the entrance is. So I'm sure that would be fine. <coughs> oh yes, one important thing. We're going to need a, 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 a runway. So I'm not doing this, I'm not thinking about future development or anything. This is just for tutorial purposes. And we're going to need an ATC, uh, a small ATC, which we'll place away from the runway. Inside joke. Um, <clears throat> and then we will... Uh, taxiway node, right, this is what we need to do. Uh, oh, goodness me. So we're going to have to remove some trees. They are a pain. See if I can squeeze through this gap here. Oh, yes. So that's something good. Holding points, I recommend you place one. Especially there, but you might find that the rest of the taxiway area requires you to... Um, do a similar type thing. Oh god, no, we don't want to delete the tower. Right, we'll get rid of those trees <clears throat> and we'll come back and we'll build that taxi section soon enough. Now, one medium gate and two small gates is all you need to take small contracts and medium sized contracts. Not necessarily at the same time. But you can deal with a contract with just this. This is the bare minimum for what you need. And I think we're pretty much up and running, aren't we? We've got staff. Uh, let's chuck a few seats in here. Um, bit of an odd place to put these, but... Anyway, I highly recommend that you build queues, even if they're only short. What have I done there? Oh, goodness me. Okay, this is the next point. In fact, this should have been the first point. Check-in desks. I'm going to delete all of these because I've put them in back to front. Look at the arrows when you get things uh, because they indicate uh, which direction the customers, the, uh, the passengers will be coming from. So make sure you put them in the right way, otherwise you'll be deleting them like I am right now. So that's a lesson learned. Oh, I haven't deleted these ones. Come on, get rid of them. Chop, 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 chop. We're busy here. Things to do, places to be. Right, once again, I'll put these two at the end next to each other so you can see the issue that that can cause. And then we'll build a queue like so for each of these. If you don't, everybody sort of huddles around the desk. Uh, it makes things a bit more complicated and uh, certainly doesn't look good either. Right. Okay, good. Now, security also needs a queue, but because things get proper, proper busy over here, I do recommend doing a bit of a snaky one, really. Um, it's not absolutely essential, <coughs> but you might find it saves you some aggravation later on. Like so. Okay, good. So that's all working rather well. We, you can see that we're a bit short on security here. You need four per desk, so we just need to go grab a couple more. And also they work in shifts, so they'll work four hours, then they'll swap with somebody and so on and so forth. So if you need eight, you actually need more than eight because you need someone to come and take over from them uh, for periods when they're having a break. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Right, I think we're flying pretty well here. Uh, let's connect a stand to that. Let's connect a stand to that. Connect a stand to that. Turn this on, open, set for commercial. Stand requires a taxiway connection. Oh yes, 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 yes. I didn't finish that, did I? Sorry, got distracted. There were some trees. Okay, now it doesn't matter how you set this up. Um, I'm just going to do it. Whoops. I'm just going to do it this way because uh, because that's the way I'm going to do it. That's 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 all there is to that, really. Um, oh, stop clicking off that, please. Okay, right. So now we can open the stand, set it for commercial. Now, I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys, but you can always watch this again, rewind it, whatever you like. This is exactly how you set everything up. Right. Bare minimum is set and ready to go. What we need next is to go to economy, look at contracts. Uh, the more stars there are, the more complicated the, uh, the job is going to be. So let's see here. We've got six light class, four medium. That's absolutely fine. We'll take that. Then we need to flick to the flight planner. This is where that uh, contract agreement pops up. Um, we're going to set it to start tomorrow for the simple reason that um, we want to uh, try and build our baggage handling system before uh, these guys turn up. That, that would be the plan. That's a bit of a tall ask. I'm not sure if I can actually manage that. But uh, we'll have a go, we'll have a go. And uh, hopefully that will work out perfectly well. If it doesn't, then we'll just we'll take another contract and do it on, on another day. Simple as that. Um, okay, so we've got one extra medium, which we'll just chuck in tonight. So that's fine, that's that done. Uh, incidentally, medium stands can comfortably take three flights a day. Small stands can comfortably take four, but add a and an extreme push can take five. You might not want to do five because if you have uh, one aircraft, say the first aircraft in the morning gets delayed, then uh, everything is going to be delayed after that. It's an absolute disaster. Right, let's see how we're doing in the procurement situation. Looks good. Okay, you can see that this is now unlocked and that gives us a couple of new areas. A baggage claim area being one, which we'll just fill that spot with there um, we also if you scroll down in items you'll see that we've got some baggage items and uh, baggage belts are basically what transfer things across now baggage belts come in two flavors if you hover over it but don't click and then try and get onto this menu without it disappearing is a bit tricky you can see we've got overground and underground belts overground belts have to be indoors so if you're going from one building to another which we're going to do then you'll need the underground belt but uh, you need to join them together obviously right and also you can't cross if there's an overground belt you can't run underneath it with an underground belt there's a bug it gets really confused just for now at least don't do it so we're going to go with the overground belt for now and if you scroll in and look you can see we've got some arrows and if you look even more closely you can see they're flowing in the opposite direction to the arrows this is a bug it's quite irritating just ignore it and trust me when I say that it's going in the direction that the arrow is pointing and not in the direction that the arrows are moving. Not sure where that bug came from. It wasn't there before. That's definitely been introduced. Right, now, these um, check-in desks have these um, baggage... Let me just slow this down because I need to explain as I'm doing it. These are baggage handlers, so people put their bag on there and it starts rolling this way. So we need to catch it at this end and then pass it on to the baggage handlers, basically. So let me just get an overground one, because that's what they are. These are above ground. And we'll come down here, like so, and I'll click that button there. Now, in this instance, that's worked out perfectly fine, but sometimes you'll find that these, because they're connected together, unlike these which have a gap, they sort of do a loop. So, uh, presumably, I've just found the solution to that. You, if you come straight past it and don't stop either one, then it looks like it works pretty well. So we're going to run all the way down to the bottom here, to this bottom one, and then we press R to make it go the other way, and uh, 
that's basically how that's going to work. So these are all above ground, these ones, so we'll let the guys go and build those, and then we'll come over here and we'll start working on the underground belts. And you'll see that it automatically puts in this, uh, I don't know, a dropper. So it, it's, it's upper ground, it slides along, drops down there, and then it's on the underground. I know a lot of you probably figured that out. And you can also tell which is under and which is over by the colour. So there's a green and an orange. And what you'll see now is, interestingly, that the arrows are now flowing in the correct direction. And uh, if I go to it again... Okay. So it just it changes. Sometimes they're going the right way, sometimes they're not. Simple as that. Next thing to build is the baggage collection area. Now we just basically need to have a circle of these things. like that. Super duper. And they need to be above ground, obviously. You can't have people climbing underneath the ground to get to them. They need to be above ground. Right. So that is that done. The next thing we need to do is build a baggage bay. Now, a baggage bay has a few necessary <coughs> fulfillments for it, let's say. Um, it needs to be a minimum of five by five but I recommend going six by six. And when I say that, I'm talking about a building because this needs to be indoors. And also you can see these two areas here that need to connect to the um, to this road, which is called a service road. I forgot what it's called. It's a service road. I haven't forgotten at all. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Right, let's go six by six. Sorry, I am rushing through this as quick as I can. In fact, let's go seven, eight, eight by six. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Right, so when you've built the building, you then need to remove a single wall. Like so. And then you can take your uh, ba -ba 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 baggage bay, rotate it to the correct direction, and pop it in there. Right, we'll wait for that to build. <laughs> that we need to do here that uh, the tutorial doesn't particularly cover that well. Um, let's make sure that we're using underground once again. And uh, if we come in nice and close here, you can see the arrows are pointing in the direction of which, so that's baggage coming in, this is baggage going out. So this stuff is going to the air, uh, this stuff here is going to the, whatever you call this, the, the carousel. And uh, this stuff is coming from the check-in desk and in onto here and then off to the plane. And what will happen is vehicles will drive in here and uh, take stuff to the aeroplanes. So we're doing pretty well. I think we might be on schedule for uh, sorting this out before uh, any aircraft turn up. So let's just make sure that we've got these arrows going the right direction. And that is that hooked up. So that is baggage coming from check-in, and it runs all the way up here to this desk, and that is that. Now, we need this one going in the opposite direction, because that is going to drag baggage out. And drop it on the carousel. And again, you can see it automatically builds a lower to a lower underground to overground connector there without you having to do anything. Right, now if we try and activate this, it will say verify that this baggage bay is connected to a check-in desk, a stand, a baggage claim area, and a service road before activating. Okay, so there's the service road. So we've achieved that little uh, nugget, but there's a few things it doesn't really cover. First of all, we are going to need a vehicle depot. Now a vehicle depot needs to have access to this uh, service road. So we'll pop that in there and then we'll add a service road. 
connection like that. Now you don't have to do this, but I just like to keep it neat and tidy and as organized as possible. So vehicle, vehicles will live there and they'll be able to drive round and get to the vehicle bay here. So that's step one. Now, this area that we dragged out here, hopefully you remember that, is called the domestic baggage claim area. Don't know why it's called that, but anyway, we need to open that room and then connect it to the baggage bay. You don't have to do it in that order, but they're the two things you have to do. Same with these. Connect each one individually to the baggage bay. Because when your airport gets super, super big, you might actually have more than one baggage bay. You don't want baggage coming here if your flight and everything's going to be this side. So in the future, that's how that will be. In addition to that, you need to do the same thing here for all of the stands. Connect baggage bay. Connect baggage bay. And you'll see that's pretty good. Now, unless I've forgotten something, that should now activate. Verify that this baggage bay is connected to a check-in desk. Yes. A stand. Yes. A baggage claim area. Yes. And a service road. Well, that's all of them. So, activate. Oh! Probably the most important thing. Operations. Overview. Turn on ramp agents. Turn on baggage handling. Open all security. And open your airport. Forgot all of that. All of those things very important. Let's try that again. Still you're not letting me. Okay, that's a little concerning. Why, 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 why for you not activate? I've got a sneaky suspicion, and I've not seen this error before, but I've got a sneaky suspicion. It's because I've placed it bang on the, bang on the road as opposed to slightly back off the road. I'm sure that isn't going to impact it. Right, let me just check this. That's connected. That's connected. That's con Oh! I know what I've done. Yes, I was speaking to you earlier about the importance of... Uh, let me just do this quick. The importance of um, making sidewalks for people to get to places. Because uh, only the builders can walk anywhere... So what we need to do is we need to have an area... Oh man, I did need that to be a double road. Excuse me, whilst I just correct everything that I'm doing wrong. Service road to there. Crosswalk. Perfect. And then hopefully just a door will allow us access into there. Let's go medium. Let's get all that built. So they should be able to walk across here, along this path, along this crosswalk, and in through the door. That's the plan. So that should activate now. Are you kidding me? I haven't built the door yet, I suppose. Now, will you activate? You are really getting on my nerves. That's active. That's active. That's active. That's active. That's active. <coughs> oh. These have disconnected. Well, that's jolly odd. I wonder why that happened. Okay. Not sure how that happened. Pretty sure that I went through and did that, did I not? Okay, maybe I didn't. We'll just move on. Now, theoretically, you might think this is running and perfectly fine, but you're going to run into some issues here. Or you might not. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. What happens is you get this error message pop up here with a, a question mark and like a... A power mark. We're bang on time here. We've got some flights coming in at 5 in the morning. Let me just... Oh my goodness me. Upgrade this. Right, open the runway. Then upgrade it to asphalt. Build some papi lights. My goodness me. I nearly forgot to open the flipping runway so that the uh, aeroplanes could land. That would have really made this tutorial difficult to, uh, to finalise. Right, okay. Uh, let me just check the taxiway. I have finished that, haven't I? Yes, everything looks good. Perfect. Right, now sometimes when you get this question mark and um, icon come up over here, it's because you haven't secured the area. Now, it doesn't need... It, I don't think it needs to have this. And I think it's little more than a bug. But it does seem to prefer 
if it's secure. Now I won't secure this building and on the off chance that it might potentially work without me having to do it. So we'll see, we'll see when the flights come in in about an hour. So we should have some customers coming in. In fact they've already come in look. So we may have missed them loading their luggage through the thing because that's the only way you really know if it's working or not is if they lo load their luggage uh, properly and then you can track it and follow it all the way. Whilst we're here let's just double check that all the arrows are, are lined up and facing in the right direction they look to be. That all looks fine, that all looks fine, that all looks fine, that looks absolutely fine. I forgot something very important. The uh, the basic vehicle depot does require some vehicles and uh, it's because I'm rushing that I'm making these mistakes I think. I'm going to blame it on that. So let's order a couple of these now. The more planes you have the more you'll need so I'm just going to order three and you'll see them hopefully popping up here really soon because we've got a flight coming in. There he is. There's our, there's our little buggy and he's going to go park in there. Now what will happen is they'll get some trailers and they'll come and start unloading here. So we've got some passengers getting off the plane. Obviously, I don't think their baggage is going to turn up here. Doesn't look like it is. I'm a, I'm a bit concerned I might have blocked my, uh, my um, staff from getting to these desks. Uh, nobody seems to be going through security either. So yeah, pretty pretty nervous right now. Ah, we can see the first... Ah, okay, okay, so that's working. So they're unloading the aircraft. And you can see them chucking it onto the conveyor belt. And that should be coming through here. And there you go, these guys are waiting for their, for their luggage. So that's working perfectly. Now it's weird because I haven't had to secure this area. But normally, there's a... If you get a question mark and a... Um, like a, a power line zigzaggy thing showing up here that t I don't know what that refers to in all honesty but it tends did you see it pop up then just for a split second it popped up but because I've already made this a secure area it fixes that problem now clearly that's a bug but that's how you fix it so that's running guys that is a complete airport from start to finish with baggage handling um, and this is how you set up a basic a basic airport that is running now. Um, there are some issues around taxiing and aircraft, but as long as you keep things neat and tidy and you leave a bit of space between them and there's not too many on screen at any one time, then you should be fine. It should just run and run and run and run and run. Let's watch these guys. Um, ah, now, interestingly, they're not putting their baggage on. They are, but these guys aren't. Ah, there we go. Thank goodness for that. I thought it was broken. So that goes down there into the underground area and uh, in real time it flows all the way underneath and we'll see it pop out here. Um, you can see there's quite a few here. Quite a few. And I'm expecting to see a baggage cart turn up any second now. Okay, maybe they're waiting for the aeroplane. There it is. Okay, let's see if this happens then. So as this aircraft comes in to park... Then we should see a vehicle come flying out of here. I don't know why he's only got one trailer. He... Whoa. Oh, I see. He's going to unload first. Because it's a small airplane. Okay. That makes sense. Now, um, these guys here, these staff members, you really do want to make sure you've got enough of them. Because this becomes a serious chokehold and all of your flights will leave late. That seems to be working pretty well. And he's going to go load this aircraft up. You can see there's one of our other buggies. Now there's only one guy doing that, which means he's going to be super slow. Super slow. And there's another aircraft just come in. So, honestly, spend money on ramp agents. Make sure you've got lots of them. So far, so good. Now this is a bigger aircraft, so he's got two trailers on there. But I've seen they carry anything up to seven. And I've seen maybe five... So uh, I think it just depends on how many passengers are getting on or off of the aircraft. And not so much to do with um, how big the aircraft is. But that's it, guys. That's pretty much everything you need to know. Now, one thing I've had some problems with, I'm just going to do now. This is the last thing I'll do in this video. 
uh, is, if I can remember where that wall is, there it is. So we're just going to build an area here. Oops. Now, I'm going to try and turn this into a bathroom. Ah, there we go. Okay. So you can overlay a bathroom uh, area. A room. You can overlay a room over a secure area, but you need to leave the secure area underneath. I had an issue. I removed the secure area to make it a bathroom, and then nobody would go in there, and I couldn't figure out why. And I thought, I'd just see if I could figure out what that problem was. And I think that's what the problem was. So let me just chuck some toilets in there. Like so. And some sinks. And uh, we'll speed things up. I just want to see if that works. Because, um, yeah, it confused the living daylights out of me uh, before. But I think, I think, I think that's what the problem was. I think it was a mistake I made. But uh, it's a good thing to share with you, just so you know yourself when uh, when you come to play the game uh, so we need to open this room and we'll leave it as any rather than male or female so that anybody can use it and uh, hurrah that is working perfectly superb okay guys well that's it uh, bus stops are an absolute must make sure you've got walkways don't forget the door at the front something I've done a million times make sure you've got these facing the correct way and you've got a queue set up don't forget to put some seats and a toilet in double security if you want things to run smoothly that's how you make a toilet. Uh, this is a baggage claim area. That's how that's done. This is how you connect the baggage here. All goes underneath. Don't forget this building and to buy the carts. And if you get the bug, the, uh, the question mark and the <coughs> icon, then just make this a secure area and that seems to fix it. So that's it from me, guys. I really hope that helps you out. Uh, I know a few people are having a few problems, but that is a fully functioning airport that you can expand and do whatever you want with now. you just got to keep an eye on the numbers and uh, make sure that you've got enough staff and enough equipment and enough gates and everything will run smoothly. Enjoy the game. It's an absolute blinder. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time, goodbye.